private network. How are we going to do it? What are we going to build? How is it built? Well, there are certain options and, and ways of doing this depending on, on what you want to do. You could contract the whole thing out to telco. You could contract out, we want a private 5G in our building, bada bing, bada boom, they set it up. Or you could say, we're going to take care of the RAN, we would like to contract the core to you. So that way you have an interconnect where you have your own RAN section with the O-RAN that's open today. You connect to the core and there you go. Now you have the core connection between them and you're using your own RAN. Or you could do the whole thing yourself. You could build your core, you could build your radio access network, you could do all that yourself depending on the needs, the privacy needs, the locations, uh, how much money you want to spend. But basically we have different options of how to set up the private 5G or 4G network. So we talked about what it is. We talked about your options for building it, right? The 5G, private wireless network. And you've built it, you got it. It's all set up. You have you know, different branches that you're working with, different applications that you're using. Now, we it's also important to remember, not everything's gonna change overnight. So you're still going to have, right? You're gonna have legacy. Uh, legacy network components, you're gonna have legacy applications, legacy equipment. So you're gonna need to manage this as best you can. Now, I'm gonna bring in the notion of an SLA at this point, right? Service level agreement. Now the SLA is going to tie to users, but what we're gonna see more and more today is SLAs that are tied to very sophisticated applications. And the requirements when it comes to delay, delay variation, packet loss can be very tight for some of these mission critical applications. Now, your best way to be able to manage all this is through accurate performance monitoring that is going to enable you to guarantee the SLAs being met. But not only that, it will able to help you decide where to spend your money, right? The SLA is going to determine where you put the application, where the user goes, and where you need to improve between A and B, whether it's in the core or on your radio access network. So this is going to be key to determining how things are going here, how things are going here, and how things are going here on the wireless side as well. So also remember, in this scenario, you may not have the manpower or the time to do any adjusting or correcting. Automation is going to be your friend as well. Once again, the accuracy and precision of the performance monitoring data through an orchestrator or other means is going to give you that automation, that closed loop capability to correct, adjust, and fix things before they get to the point where a user or an application is degraded. Okay, so we've solved all the problems, right? But no, think about it. So we have our 5G, right? Private network, private wireless network over here. We got our legacy, we got our performance monitoring, but the world doesn't end here. Maybe we have the public internet and maybe we have, you know, another part of the application that's over here. Maybe we have users or another partner that you're dealing with that's over here. So not everybody is going to be in your domain of your 5G network. So now you have to think of how am I going to guarantee my applications, my user, my services end to end. And this is very key to a successful deployment. And what you're going to need at this point is you're going to need full stack visibility. You're going to need to see not only you know, certain criteria, oh, I can see my packet loss. You're going to need full stack visibility of how everything is working. You're going to need granular visibility as well. Why? Well, we talked about those mission critical applications. We talked about things that will make a difference. And without the granularity, you won't be able to automate, you won't have the way of, of, of quickly, you know, looking at, at how things could be moved around. But a big key of the granularity is to support the automation of the self-healing network. Cloud native, right? Continuous improvement, continuous development. You have to make sure that the software and the packages you're using are going to support cloud native deployments. Open APIs, can't say that enough. Right? You want to be able to integrate, to tie this into other systems that you're using. The open APIs are key to this type of deployment 
and, and development. Security aware, right? When we look at, at what we're opening up over here, different areas of the network, some private, some public, you need to have the awareness when you're looking at that full stack visibility of taking a look at the security considerations at the same time. So not only are you looking for your typical type of PM, but you really need the granular full stack cloud native solutions to really get the end to end solution in this type of environment. So when we're talking full stack, we're talking application monitoring right down to each flow, each conversation. We're also looking at performance monitoring data from the network. We're also looking at data coming to us from third party sources. So that's really important, whether it's our data, our application data, our network data, or data we can pull from other sources, that's where we're going to get the full stack visibility. So let's look at this again. Let's, let's uh, wrap this up. So we're going to have our 5G private wireless network. And from day one, it's going to be dynamic, it's going to be scalable, and it's going to be cost effective. What we want to make sure it is and stays is reliable and able to meet the SLAs you're going to have. Now, to do that, you're going to have to make sure you think about getting the assurance part set up as we're going through over here in the initial uh, day one scenarios. And automation using those APIs that we talked about. So being able to make sure we have the resilience, uh, reliable SLAs and so forth by having the assurance and the automation to make it reliable and meet the SLAs. Now what that's going to do is make sure you can monetize this. You're going to make money, save money, depending on how you're looking at this. But having all these components put together and having them insured and automated, that's the final goal on day one. Make sure this is on day one.